Hi, I'm Alex from Alex and Olmsted, and today I'm going to show you how to use a green screen and virtual backgrounds for Zoom. You are probably already familiar with the concept of green screen from TV and film. Usually, producers use it to put their cast in fantastical situations, and it seems like a really expensive option. But actually, it's really easy to do nowadays, and I'm not even really in my kitchen. There are two main ways you can set up a virtual background in Zoom. Uh, if you have a newer phone or a powerful enough computer, you can have Zoom automatically interpret your video feed and replace your background with another image. This technology is pretty neat, but it's not really that accurate. Uh, you can see as I move my head around that my outline is a little blobby, my fingers sort of get cut off. You can instantly tell that I'm not actually in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. At first, I thought the algorithm was looking for moving and non-moving objects and replacing the non-moving objects with your new background image, uh, but it seems like it's a little more complicated than that. If I hold up a business card, for example, and it's outside of my body, Zoom wants to get rid of it. So while this option exists, it's pretty bad for online performances and kind of distracting for meetings. The other option is using a green screen. Green screen, or chroma key, is a visual effect that composites two images or videos together based on color hues. Now, most commonly, uh, people will use green as their chroma key color because it's so far away from skin tone, but really you can use any color for your chroma key. There are a lot of professional green screen options available online, but you can make your own by painting a backdrop or hanging a bolt of fabric. I made my green screen with green poster board from the craft section of the grocery store and just masking taped it together on the back. Then I strung it up and hung it from a clothesline about two feet behind me. My green screen uses eight sheets of poster board, but you could use fewer if the green screen were closer to you. I just like having room to move around. When you're using a green screen, you need to make sure that it's properly lighted so that you're not casting a big shadow on the back. I have two lights uh, off camera pointed just at the green screen so that I'm not casting a shadow, and then a third light which is bouncing off the wall which is giving me my key light. Once that's all set up, you can go ahead and open Zoom and click on this little gear icon to open your settings. Then click on Virtual Background, and your video should pop up. By default, your virtual background will be on None, but you can go ahead and click one of the default options. It'll be the sort of blobby background until you check this box, I have a green screen. Once you check that, it'll probably look for uh, the green screen. Um, it may show up as being super crazy and, and not make a bunch of sense. If that happens for you, just click on this color picker and select sort of a mid-tone green. You can see my green screen has a pretty bright spot right here, sort of a true green, and then it moves to a more blue-green here. Uh, but if I sort of pick kind of the, the mid-tone, it does a pretty good job interpreting that. Now that our green screen is properly set up, we can start having a little bit of fun with it. You can search around online for a background you like. Uh, this is a really beautiful one from the subreddit backgrounds of sort of a, a galaxy. Uh, all you need to do is right click, save image as, and then save it to your desktop. Then just click on this little plus sign that says add image or video. Say add image, and then Go to your downloads and import your recent image. Ah, the galaxy, the wonder of space. But maybe you don't want to be in the galaxy. Maybe you want to go to Hogwarts. Ah. <laughs> the other really impressive thing that Zoom has built in are video virtual backgrounds. The sort of default ones they have are these kind of northern lights and beach scenes that you've probably seen a lot of. These work really well because they're 
uh, already a looping video. You don't see a hard break in there. The background that I used at this video was my kitchen, and actually it's a video, not a photo, even though it may not seem totally obvious. There's a little bit of movement up here in the trees, a little sway in the breeze, which I think helps sell the illusion a little more. You can make your own video virtual backgrounds if you have video editing experience, or you can find one online. I really like this, this is fine, looping virtual background. It even has instructions in the description about how to save it. I'll go ahead and copy the URL and then go to savethevideo.com and drop it in the search bar. Just make sure not to download any copyright material and only use it for personal use. Also, give credit whenever you can. Like to jho3000 for the excellent looping video background. Thanks, jho3000. I'll go ahead and click Download video, and then back in Zoom, click on the plus button, say Add Video, and select it from my Downloads folder. Ah, this background is fine. But what if you can't find green poster board? Well, that's fine. Blue works really well too. You'll just need to go to your color picker and select the blue. Ooh. And the fun doesn't stop there. You can use the same green screen poster board to create magically floating objects. Ooh. If you're like me and you already have a green morph suit, then you're in luck. But you could achieve this same effect by using a piece of green cloth wrapped around you. Oh. I'd like to take a quick second to thank our patrons over at patreon.com, whose monthly support helps us continue to make new work possible. Their support has been especially helpful during this pandemic, when we've had so many performances canceled. If you'd like to join them and get early access to our videos and all sorts of behind-the-scenes perks, then head on over to patreon.com slash alexandolmstead. There's even a link in the description. It might take a little tweaking to get your settings just right, but hopefully this gives you a good basis with experimenting with green screens on your own. What green screen projects are you excited about trying out? Let me know in the comments below. Did you know that according to YouTube video analytics, only about 5% of our viewers watch until the very last seconds of our videos? That means if you're seeing this right now, you're in the top 5%. As a treat, here's a picture of my cat. <laughs>